okay, so here's my challenge. Uh, I like to use Camtasia to do my video editing, and I love these guys with videos um, to be able to do a bunch of uh, their templates, intros, outros, and what I wanted to do is be able to use these alpha channel deals where you've got something that has like a, a transparent background then goes over top of your video. So let's say, for example, I want to use this one. So rather than a pretty girl smiling, it's going to be me doing something probably stupid in the background, but then I have this awesome lower thirds overlay that looks at make really makes it look really professional but the challenge we've had is that if we go into create this customize this video we get to put our logo in there the text the audio all that stuff and then we download it if we go into Camtasia there's see that's less pretty than her we go like this and I try and import that media from my downloads guess what can't play it because it's unsupported now what's happened is uh, I think since an update with Camtasia uh, a while back they don't allow you to import those because what they are is uh, in a technical term they're a, a .mov file with uh, animation as the the way it's exported as the codec and finally figured out how to do it now uh, just to start off with I'm not a designer I'm not a video editor I'm just a guy that's tried all of the ways to try and make things work so that you don't have to one of the things that I've done for many years is create my own videos using Camtasia using lower thirds and trying to create a whole bunch of animations all sorts of stuff I'll show you that in a sec but when I stumbled on videos I was really excited to be able to use what's called alpha uh, the category here of alpha even just on the regular account with the animated uh, animations and things over top of transparent backgrounds so you see anywhere with the the grid there is all transparent so that means you can put your own stuff in the background of these things so as this breaks down something comes through that can be your video or this can be your video with an overlay uh, and one of the things I liked was just like the look and feel of this guy here and I thought well wouldn't that be great to have my lower thirds because that's a much more um, animated than the ones I've done so I'll show you what I've got so here's my stupid face and I can put this so this is one it took me quite a while to create but this is what it looks like so that's the one I use in a lot of my videos there. And then I also have, I played around with different ideas. Now, if you're like me um, and you start doing this kind of stuff, you get really addicted to being able to create this kind of stuff. It takes a lot of work to make these animations all work. And even with um, one of the clients we work with, they asked me if I'd help do some video stuff and we created some lower thirds in the videos. And this isn't really my job, I'm a sales coach. So we just did it because we figured out how to do it. So with that, that's how those came on. We've got some transparent, but it did take a lot of work to just create these. And they're nowhere near the quality of the ones that videos has. And there, yeah, you can download different ones. Um, you can get them for free in different places. I'll do more training on that. But the one I liked about videos was to be able to put that right in. Problem is, you try and import it. And you go to downloads. And guess what? No dice, a babaloo. So we want to be able to load this in. Now I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Um, and here we go. And so this video, I don't want to get too complicated for you. I just want you to follow along and I'll show you what we did to figure it out. Uh, you don't have to know necessarily how this all works, but we're going to be using a combination of uh, rendering engines and a Windows user interface. Basically, just the back end system and a way to be able to convert your files on your computer. The way we found this was this guy here, Lon Naylor, and I followed his tutorial along and I was going to just share that tutorial. Um, but once we got to the end, we found out there was a thing that wasn't happening based on the last set of directions. So I figured I'd just do it because I'm just a regular person, not a designer or editor. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into Lon's site here that he's converting to and I'll give the links below. We're going to download these two files. We're going to show those in the folder. So what we're going to do, actually I'm going to take these both. I'm, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to create in my folder a, uh, or in my, just in my documents folder, I'm going to create one. I'm going to call it FFmpeg, just so I have it in the one spot. Take these two downloads. And just move it into that folder there. 
Okay. Now we're going to go into both of these and we're just going to extract them both. Don't need that yet. We're going to really extract all. Now, once you're done with that, you can actually just go in and delete these files. You don't need them. And what we're going to do here is we're going to open up this folder. So there's two folders. This one is the Windows, what is it called again? A rendering engine. And then this is the user interface. So I'm going to open this up, open this up, go into here where it says ffe.exe, copy that, go back into here, back into this folder. Keep going through till you find the bin folder. And we're going to paste it there. I'm also going to take this and I'm going to send it to my beautiful little desktop. Now, here's the next trick. This is why we couldn't get it to work. So uh, when we do and when we do this, let's go here. If we try and run this shortcut, first thing we want to if we don't do this step, then it won't let you convert the file. So when you run it the first time, we want to make sure that we click on this and hit open. If you ever have a problem with that where you don't see the do it button, because basically the do it means to start the engine. You can always um, go into here. If it says, where's the path, you're going to try and find that path again. That is this folded file here. So this runs the interface and this runs the encoder on the back end. So if this says I need a path to know how to run this, then you're going to go to here. I hope that makes sense. That's the step that I missed because if your box is grayed out here that says do it, then uh, you basically, you well, you can't do it. <laughs> so here's what we're going to do. We're going to now take uh, a file here. Oh, I don't want that. I want this file. And we're going to go and take that one that we just created. And down here, for some reason, it has a default of MKV. Change this to .mov. And what I did as well is I created a folder uh, under my videos folder called converted FF MPEG videos. Save that. So I'll cancel that. And then lower third, MOV. Here we want PNG as the output. And here we want AAC. Now, once you've done this once, it will save your settings so it's much faster. So if I hit do it, guess what it's doing? It's doing it. And all this is doing is it's converting the way that the file comes from videos into a file that's usable by Camtasia. So if you don't care about using the alpha channel videos, then don't worry about it. So now it says that it's done. So in here, we're able to now import our new, we we'll go to documents. We're going to go into our, no, what did I do? I want to go to my videos. So we're going to go into our videos folder are converted now guess what it shows up there if it doesn't show up most likely it's because you have it as a dot mkv file right so now if i go here and i open that guess what it works isn't that cool so let's try this from scratch with the new file we just downloaded to see how it works so we double click on that now that it opens, we've got our I do it, just do it button there. We're going to go in here. We're going to pick the file that we want to convert. And I want this new one here. And I'm going to change the name here. And remember, we're going to do MOV. And that's all we have to do to make this happen. It's going to go to this folder. It's automatically selected. I'm going to hit do it. And then as it goes through, then I'll just fast forward this video and show you. So now that it's converted, we're going to go in here and we're going to open up the folder in our videos folder, find the one that we just converted, bing, bang, boom, that goes on there. And now we can overlay on our video. Now we've got an awesome overlay over an awesome jump, right? So now, Boom, that's how it goes. Now, 
when I do these, I mean, you can build your own stuff in Camtasia, but this is why I was so excited about videos is to be able to use the stuff that they have right away, right out of the box. And all you're going to do is just spend like five minutes setting up this stuff. I know it might sound complicated. It looks terrifying, but it's really simple to set up if you just follow the directions. So I want to make sure I give a shout out to Lon Naylor here who did the original video and probably the first person here, <laughs> the fraud shame on you, not them, but this person here uh, that said uh, to make sure you can select the FFE.exe. So if you do that, you should be good. Um, and now inside of your videos, you can do this stuff anytime you want. Now, of course, you can go and create all your own animations and do all that kind of stuff. But for a lot of people, we want to be able to use these tools. These guys have done a great job of videos, giving us tools that we can use so we can create videos easily right away. And you don't have to try and reinvent everything because the faster you get stuff out, the faster you're going to be able to get things done. All right. Hope you enjoyed that. And we'll talk, uh, I guess another time. Let's have a little bit of fun. So here's the video you're watching right now. And I thought for that opening that we did with the text bubbles, let's uh, show you exactly how we're going to do that. Because this is another example of how this would work. So I'm going to go out to here, show the desktop, boom, boom, double click there. We're going to have the texting bubbles. That's what we found. That's the new one. Bing, bing, bing. Bing, bing, bing. It's going to be there. Not MKV, but MOV. Now you've seen it a third time. Don't screw it up. Do it. It did it. Now we're going to go in here. We're going to go into media. Import. Uh, we are going to import our media from our converted MMP. Da, da, da. We're going to go there and we're going to call this one up. And guess what, kids? That's just how it's going to go. Let's see how that looks. Is that the one I wanted or is it this one? Oh, that's the one I wanted. So I went darker with the second one. So now, look at that. That's what's going to go. I'm going to edit that and then you'll see it in the final video. But boom, that's how transparent alpha channels work. There you go. Crashing it. Hey, this is Joe Gerard with Change Your Chief. Thanks for checking this out. Remember to subscribe and check out some of the other videos and resources we have. You know, as a sales coach, I spend a lot of my time just helping people be less weird and more human with their customers. If we can help you and your high performing team, reach out to us, let us know, and let's connect soon.